All right, my people, I don't know what you're expecting, but Math Walk is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to lace up your sneakers, bundle up, because we well into hoodie season at this point, and you're going to take a 30-minute walk. While you're on that walk, you're going to be on the lookout for math problems. When you see a math problem, a potential math problem, you're either going to video or take a still shot or a series of still shots to illustrate that math problem. You want to drag those things into Google Slides, type up a little bit. All right, what is the math problem that you came up with based on that scene? And if you're able, what are some of the formulas you would use in order to solve that math problem? What are some of the measurements or uh, items that you would need in order to be able to solve that problem. You don't actually have to solve it, you're just introducing the problem. The last piece that I'm gonna want is you're gonna label the problem with either high school, middle school, elementary school, lower elementary school as the type of problem that you, that you think uh, this is at that level. You do need to keep a majority of your problems at an upper level so no more than four problems labeled elementary school and we are we are looking for 10 problems overall so you need to be if you're taking a 30 minute walk that means once every three minutes at least you need to be citing a math problem I will have several examples for you to look at if you're not sure exactly what it would look like to write math problems while you take a walk. Now, I already know there's going to be objections, and I already have answers to those objections. So you can quit moaning and complaining that your mom grounded you, that you don't have a camera that you can take a picture with, etc., etc. I got you. Right. Truth of the matter is, will I really be able to tell the difference between if you really took the walk? Or if you jumped onto Google Maps and grabbed that little yellow man, drop him onto a street corner, and snap a picture there. No, I probably won't be able to tell the difference. So I'm not going to call it cheating. I will call it an alternative method for my people that for whatever reason are unable or unwilling to actually physically get up and take the walk. But... I strongly encourage you to really take a walk. I am actually going to give you all the way until the day before Veterans Day to get this done. So I will commit to not grading this particular assignment until 11-11, Veterans Day. Uh, that way you can position yourself. I don't know if you're going somewhere this weekend or whatever and you would rather walk around that area or if you want to get your parents to drive you somewhere to walk, if it's, uh, if it's a little rowdy in your neighborhood, blah, blah, blah. But once again, strongly encourage you to take the advantage of actually being off the screen for a while, actually being out in the world, taking a walk, looking for math problems. Now, there is, oh, I got to tell you this too, there is a way for you to cut your work in half, kind of, sort of. If you check out one of the slides in my example, I think it's slide six. You know what? Matter of fact, I'll make sure it's slide six. I will slide this information into slide six if it's somewhere else right now. If you want to, you can get full credit only doing five instead of ten of the problems. If you follow the instructions carefully and correctly on slide six of the example set that I post up for you. Now, if you want to take this math walk right now, you are perfectly welcome to leave and do that. However, leaving to do that means that you're committed to turning the assignment in before the end of today. If you want to put off the math walk until a later time this week, then what I want you working on for at least the next 45 minutes is either an Imagine Math assignment, you know you got to get up to 12 of them by the end of the quarter, or you can work on 
one of your missing assignments for me. Ask the questions you need to ask. We are running down on time. You saw already the end of quarter sequence of events. So you know that if you've been slacking on your work, you don't have a lot of days still to ask questions. So that would be my strongest recommendation. If your grade's not where you want it right now, that you spend this time getting my help with a performance-based learning task and then take this math walk on your time later in the week. If you want to get a still picture into Google Slides, all you got to do is find it on your computer and drag it in. If you want to get a video onto Google Slides, first you're going to have to drag the video into Google Drive. Name it something that it will be easy for you to find. So this particular one I named Thanks. And you might have to wait for a while before it's uploaded and ready to play inside of Google Drive. But then, after you've got it into Google Drive, you just come up to Insert Video, Choose Drive, and Thanks is the one I want. So that'll be the one I do. That's inserted right there. Click on that and view it if you follow the directions in that video, then you can get full credit for writing only five instead of ten math walk problems. Check that out. It's on slide six, as I said it would be.